Hi, good morning. It's Christine Crutcher from Create with Christine. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So today I'm doing something a little bit different and I am doing a celebration kickoff online card class. So this live is going to be a little bit longer than my normal lives. I want to talk for a few minutes all about celebration. So if you have the little catalog in front of you, um, you can follow along. I picked three products to feature today, but to make things a little bit easier, I made a document. There are nine products you can earn for free right now through February 28th, 2022. So a little bit of math, there are seven products that you can earn with a $50 purchase and two products you can earn with a $100 purchase. So today I am going to focus on the Sunshine and Rainbows 6x6 Designer Series Paper, the Awesome Otters Cling Stamp Set, and the, spe uh, the Special Moments Photopolymer Stamp Set. So those are the three products I picked to feature today. Um, let's just go, uh, when I point the camera down, I'm going to talk about the catalog a little bit, but I wanted to show you the papers. So this paper is six by six. So um, up and down, this would be the one side and this would be the opposite side of all of these. So this is one side, this is the other side. But because it's six by six, you know, you get more uh, designs. So there's 48 sheets uh, free with a $50 order. So super fun, super bright. Uh, somebody said this week, on a video, you know, paper crafting keeps me sane, and that is definitely the motto for this week. Uh, everything is good, but we're in an isolation quarantine household here, like so many other people, and I know people have it a lot worse than we do, so I'm very thankful that, you know, knock on wood, everything is good, uh, and symptoms are mild. So I picked the Awesome Otters. Here's the little stamp set, super adorable. And then special moments, this is the one that's free with 100. And just look at, it's all sentiments. You get 21 sentiments. So it's just amazing. Um, yeah, you get some kind of something for every everything. So let me show you the four cards I'm gonna make. Uh, I'll just do the otters together. And I'm sorry, it's super gloomy. Uh, this week also we got like our first significant snow and we're, we've, we've just hit winter. So here are the otter cards and then there's two cards with the special moments and they all feature the sunshine and rainbows. So aren't these just super cute? They're great for, you know, it's a tough time of year, you know, it's the beginning of January and we kind of get like the winter blues and when we get people that have, you know, family and friends that are sick right now. So these are great, happy, um, the paper, I guess, especially, but the last two cards are great kind of like happy cards to send out. So before I put the camera down, I just want to talk about the card class too. So I will have all the details in the description with the link below of how to order and when to order, but you're going to get a four card packet from me with all the dies cut, all the pieces punched, uh, the pieces embossed on those and ribbon. And then the two otter cards have the iridescent jewels. So if you spend 35, you'll get the four card packet. And then if you spend 50, you'll get um, a packet of the iridescent jewels that are brand new. And I will tell you as I go what the deadlines for everything is. So let me point the camera down and we will jump right in. Uh, thank you, Janine. Yeah, my husband's in isolation. So I'm I'm kind of sort of like in, I wouldn't say quarantine because I feel fine, but his he had two tests this week that were positive. So um, I'm pretty much isolating him to mainly one area in the house. Um, I have had no symptoms and I've been feeling good. So, but he's, just had like kind of like cold symptoms, coughing, sneezing, nothing serious. So let me point the camera down at my station and I want to make sure I find myself in my feed. Here I am. Okay. Um, oh, I was playing with my camera yesterday to get an angle I liked and I'm really not, it's a little bit better. 
Okay, that's a little bit better. So, if you don't have the Sailorbation catalog, you can actually go over to my blog at christinestamps.blogspot.com and download a PDF copy. I am just going to highlight a few of the items that I am going to use today just because I want to talk about it a little bit. So this is the Sunshine and Rainbows paper that I showed you. So it's six by six and you'll see a little medallion up here for all the items that you can earn for free in the catalog. So it's free with any $50 purchase from my online store. And again, I'll have a link below of where to shop. I am going to be running this special through Thursday, January 13th, 2022. So if you spend $35, you'll get the four card kit for free. And if you spend $50, you'll get the free card kit in the mail shipped directly to your house. Um, with the $50, you'll also get the iridescent rhinestones. They're so pretty. Um, they really pick up, uh, you know, the colors in the projects you're using. So... And then if you spend 50, obviously you can pick a $50 celebration item. And then the kits are going to be mailed on Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. And that day I'll also send the tutorial. So you don't get the tutorial with all the measurements unless you place an order with my link. Okay, so again, Awesome Otters is on page 11. This is another item you can earn any $50 order, guys. So it doesn't have to be from the new January to June mini catalog. It can be from the annual catalog. It's still effective. It could actually be um, a $50 order. You uh, find some things in the clearance rack. There are items in the clearance rack that are under $3. So you can go check that out. It's any $50 you spend in my store. You can also look at kits. There's a new birthday card kit. That just came out um let's see what was the other thing oh okay special moments is on page 14 and again this is one of the items you can earn for free with a hundred dollar order and one of the other items you can earn for free with the hundred dollar order i'm gonna feature next week and then um let's just talk about the host and the join really quick while i have it here while i have the catalog in front of me so if you host, um, which can be you placing in a $300 order, I do want to let you know that there is a special. So if at a $300 order, you would be able to get all the free celebration products you want. Plus they're going to give you um, during celebration through February 28th, 2022, an exclusive stamp set called Calming Camellia. So this is super, super pretty. I just wanted to let you know that this is exclusive um, for a $300 order or you want to host. So get a couple friends um, that would like to do online orders together and go in on, a, on an order together. So, and I should also mention with the celebration, like with the 100, if you spend 100, you can pick out two $50 items. Um, if you were to spend more than that, um, you know, at 150, you get to pick out like 150 or 350s. So the products kind of go on top of each other the more you spend. And then, of course, join. And I wanted to show you my little bag of join. Um, but I did put together a bag with a special starter kit sample that I will go through. Why don't I just go through it now before I do my stamping? But there is a join special going on through February 28th. And it is $125 of products for $99. You would pay sales tax if you, um, per your state, you would get free shipping. And then you get to pick out two stamp sets from any of our catalogs. The two free extra stamp sets cannot be hostess or celebration. So I did put together, and I should have showed it when I was up at my face, but I put together like a whole bag. You don't get the bag. Um, it's filled to the rim with, well, you know what? No, I don't want to move the camera again. So it's filled with tons of product for the 125. Okay. So if I can get it back to my face when I go back up, I'll do that. 
but I just did a sample starter kit, the Rainbow of Happiness bundle, which is a stamp set, and then the Brilliant Rainbow Dies that coordinate. So super cute. Um, I picked a packet of designer series paper. This is a six by six um, New Horizons designer series paper. You could substitute any designer series paper. A packet of envelopes, because if you're making cards, you need envelopes to send them out. The Cloud Punch, which I'm actually using on one of my projects today in this live. I'm running out of space. Some adhesives. I put mini glue dots in the bag. I put a liquid glue in the bag. I picked three card stocks. So basic white, and then I just picked two colors, Fresh Freesia and Calypso Coral that are in the designer series paper. And again, you would pick the colors of your card stock based on your designer series paper that you choose. And this is just a sample. I picked a ribbon. This is the uh, white seam binding crinkled ribbon. So that, um, I believe it's 750, so you could substitute any ribbon that was 750, but I'm also using this in one of the cards today. And that brings you to $125. So you also get a paper pumpkin in your starter kit. So that, I put one of those in the bag. And then for my two free stamp sets, I picked out two new ones that I already have in my stash in the moment. This one is just super great for coloring and coloring is like very therapeutic. So something I love to do. And then I also picked the amazing silhouettes, which is in the new January to June uh, mini catalog. So all that together equals 125 and you would get it for 99. I mean, well, plus the new stamp sets, it would be much more than the value. I didn't crunch all the numbers but I could do that and put uh, details on my blog later. So let's jump in and do some stamping. I've been talking for a bit. Hey, good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Kathy. Good morning, Jan. So I am gonna jump in and we are just gonna go do some stamping. So let me go back into my order. So card number one features the awesome otters. And then of course the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series Paper. All the cards have the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series Paper. So what I did was the otters are actually larger than I thought they would be. And I was looking at my dies and I ended up choosing the, um, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank all of a sudden. The scallops contours dies and I know I use them like quite a bit so if you don't have the dies this is the die one of the smaller uh, rectangles from the scallops contours you can also just use a rectangle um, but they're they're a little bit larger than I thought they would be so what I'm gonna do is just stamp my otter in memento and actually I'm just gonna pick it up I'm using stamping blends on the otters. I did them exactly the same way. So you could use a stamparatus if you wanna be exact on your measurements. So there's this cute little saying, you are otterly awesome. So I'm just gonna do that also in Memento. I tried to keep the supplies on the lower end. I used three ink pads. Um, and then for the stamping blends, I used two colors. So we're gonna color him in with crumb cake. And I just did a super, super simple, I just colored him all one color with a couple highlights. So I have my crumb cake light. And we're just gonna start, and I'm gonna try to stay inside the black line, okay? Because if you go over that, you're gonna start, it's gonna start bleeding. And make sure you have a scrap paper when you're coloring. 
the blends do bleed through, so I don't want it to bleed through to my table. So I'm just gonna go around. You can kind of go in little circles, but this the space is like not that big, and I don't want to do. I want to keep his tummy white. So what color are otters? I mean, I did look it up online a little bit. I kind of saw most were brown. I know some people have been coloring them gray. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick color. Then I'll use the dark to add a couple like super quick accents. You totally could color him light and then add more accents with the dark and then blend or do dark to start. Okay, so I'm happy with how that looks. Now this is my dark. I'm gonna use the skinny end, dark crumb cake, and I'm just gonna come over and do the nose. And then these little hash marks where the artist line is, and that's it. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring pool party in. So I have my pool party blends and I'm just gonna probably use the skinny end for the, oh, wow, something just came out, flying out of that. For the little fish, and this is like so cute, I think he's actually giving the little fish a hug. Um, this one probably needs to be replaced, but that's okay. Whoop, my cover just went flying, so give me a second to find that. Oh, here it is, right by my feet. Make sure you your cover goes flying, you find it and put it on because these will dry out um, if you leave your covers off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of accent with the dark pool party and my stamping is done for this card. And then I can put my other layers together. So this is like so cave woman simple, but it's so cute. I have a crumb cake card base some pool party. This is the larger scallop rectangle from scallop contours dies. So if you place an order for 35 or 50, you will get all the measurements in a PDF tutorial. This is just some of the sunshine and rainbows paper. I counted kind of like with my my little scallops, one, two, three, four, five. I kind of wanted it to be like there because then one, two, three, four, five, it kind of lines up perfectly. And then I can put my little otter on with some seal plus. So again, if you're just tuning in, this is card one of card four that I am going to make. And then if you place an order, you will get the card kit from me in the mail. And if your order is 50 or more, you are going to get also the card kit and these awesome iridescent jewels that are new. So I did one at the bottom and two up here to finish this off. And like I said, these just pick up the colors in your project because they're iridescent, obviously. So isn't that super cute? So... There's a little bit of a close up. I just, I think this is my favorite one and this was actually the one I did first. So card one, boom. Okay, let's move on. And I'm gonna get these blends out of the way. I'm gonna keep some of this stuff to the side. Card two is also awesome otters, but I wanted to use the birthday sentiment. It's actually pretty similar layout and I just thought this was like so super cute with the little birthday hat and the fun papers for our birthday. So let's jump right in. I did the otters the same way, coloring him. So that should be pretty simple. I don't think I have to do too much explanation on that. But there's a couple additional stamping things here. So let me get my pieces I want to stamp. I want to stamp the little birthday hat 
on this little tiny piece of designer paper and I hope this is gonna go okay. So the little birthday hat from Awesome Otters. You have a couple different ways you can do this. You could do your stripes, you know, this way, your stripes that way, or you could do a diagonal. I'm going to do this differently and just make a diagonal. So, okay, perfect. So, whoops, I don't want to get rid of that. And now I'm going to do my other stamping also in Memento because I want to color him in with stamping blends. So when you're using stamping blends, you want to use Memento ink. And I wanted to do this about the middle because he's gonna have the hat on his head. You can use the Stamparatus if you want to make sure your placement is perfect. Oops, moving things around a little bit, shaking things up here. Um, you got the little sentiment that says it's birthday time which I'm just gonna do underneath and hope this is gonna be straight. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, and then I'm gonna fussy cut out my little birthday party hat here. Hey, good morning, Robin. Thanks for tuning in. So, I don't have to be totally exact, but I'm gonna try to go right on kind of the black line So if you're just tuning in, this is card two of four that I'm making this morning. And I will have a link with all the details below, but you can get this card kit for free with an online order by this Thursday, January 13th. And I'll, I'll um, recap at the end too. So I want to make sure I don't cut off my pom-pom, but this is like getting tiny and there's like barely anything to hang on to. So, okay, I got my little hat and I'm just going to stick this on with a little tiny bit of liquid glue. Let me... Oh, it was working perfect earlier. Okay, there we go. Okay, his hat might go a tiny bit over, but I think it'll, eh, not too bad. Oh, I didn't color him. <laughs> too funny. Okay, let's color him. I put the hat on before I colored him, but that's okay. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. So, again, I'm going to bring over my blends. You could fast forward if you watched this part earlier, if you're watching the replay, but this is light, right? This is light. It just seems a little bit darker. So again, I'm gonna try to go around in circles, trying to stay inside the black memento stamped line, and I'm gonna keep his tummy white again. Let me know if you have any exciting colors for, color combos for otters. Uh, Stampin' Up! is coming out with some new colors of blends that Kind of made more for like skin tones, I, I believe. Um, I don't have them yet, but that is coming out. And we're just going to go around. Ooh, I just got a chill. It's really chilly out today and might be a little icy and slick out there. Okay. Stop. And then with the dark, whoops, it went flying again. I'm going to make sure I have the skinny end and do his little nose. And then he's got a couple like little hash marks. I'm just going to give those a little detail and then stop. So I guess this one, it's a little bit high. It was stamped a little bit high, but it's fine. You could use the Stamparatus again if you wanted to have a perfect placement. And this actually would be a great time to get a Stamparatus because you can um, get an item for free with Celebration for a $50 order. So if you don't have one, January or February would be a great time to invest. So I just have Pool Party and Misty Moonlight. Again, if you 
get the card kit, you will get all the measurements that I used. And then I just did a fun kind of crisscross, um, two strips of the sunshine and rainbows. And I just did like an X and then put this in the middle. Okay, so I'll just do that as my placement guide. I didn't even do exact or like kind of measure for this one. I kind of wanted it more like whimsical for a birthday card. So look how fun this paper is. This, this side's super cute too. Okay. And then I can throw this on with some Seal Plus. So you'll see, I'm using my seal plus almost vertically. And then I'm kind of trying to do a light touch. So keep it vertical to get a good, um, to have it come out good. So this one was stamped a little bit high. Oops, and here's the original. I have to add the little gem there. So let's just bring over our gems again. Take your pick tool. And I just do kind of like, um, I flicked this side and I put one gem for the pom-pom. Okay, so hopefully you're with me here. Good idea for the crisscross. Yeah, I mean, for little strips of paper like that, um, Kathy, it's, it's a really fun tip. So, okay, so that was card two. So card three, oh gosh, this one is going to be like so quick and easy. I didn't even put any embellishments on it. But I had seen a couple cards with this type of sketch where you use three different designer series papers. And this one, I brought over the special moments. Uh, yep, special moments. I, you know, I'm having a hard time remembering the names of all the stamp sets because some of them are so similar to others that we've had over the years. So we have a lot of like um, ones that are similar to special moments. So anyways, I had seen this sketch um, multiple times and I just thought this sentiment was great with the rainbows. And there's several rainbow patterns in the designer paper, Sunshine and Rainbows. So let's bring over our packet. So hopefully you're hanging in there with me. Again, this is card three of four. So we're moving through these pretty quick. This one's gonna be like a one minute card. Okay, so I have this cute little polka dot designer paper and I am gonna stamp on it with some Bermuda Bay ink. Oops, I need to get my pierce mat before I do that. So <laughs> you're gonna probably think this is funny. So I use my pierce mat for my photopolymer because when I learned to stamp, you know, I don't even, uh, I'm going to date myself, but I mean, I probably did Stampin' Up! the first time somewhere around 1999 or 2000 uh, was the first time I ever went to a class. So, I mean, I learned with the red rubber, you know, stamps. So the pierce mat and photopolymer was like not invented at all yet. So I only use my pierce mat for my photopolymer. But if you use the pierce mat for everything, that's nothing wrong with that. So you can totally do that. Um, it's just funny. And I figured, you know, people will ask me eventually. Um, there's no kind of right or wrong way to do it. I prefer to only use it for photopolymer. So, and then I press and hold for my photopolymer clear stamps for a couple seconds. Okay, so isn't that just beautiful? And I am done. This is like the easiest card ever. And I have a huge pile of stamps over here that I need to clean up, but I will do that later. Okay, so I got my Bermuda Bay rectangle and I'm gonna put my sentiment up in the top corner. This cute little rectangle of rainbows in the other corner and then a strip of Bermuda with the little diagonals across the bottom, right? So I kind of want to get my placement and kind of get these how I want them. And then I'm just going to go for it and glue them all down. Try not to like breathe right now to make sure that they shift. I just thought it's so pretty and this really features how cute the papers all go together. I mean, Stampin' Up! is Awesome with coordination. 
Okay, rainbows. And you can see this is from the same pattern. I like the liquid glue for stuff like this because you have a minute to kind of wiggle it to where you want it before it really sets up. And look at how cute this is. I didn't even talk about all the colors in this paper. Uh, I think there's 10 plus white, so there's a lot of color, which is good. You can make happy, fun cards to brighten up these gloomy winter days. Okay, and then I have a rectangle, basic white. I embossed this, and of course I'm drawing a blank. I believe it's the gingham. Yeah, it's the gingham. It's a new embossing folder, and it's so weird because it's not 3D, and I'm so used to the, all the 3D embossing folders. It's just a regular embossing folder. And I just wanted something else in the background on both of these cards. And then I just went right to a thick basic white card base. And this folder, I will say it's kind of really hard to figure out what's the embossed and what's the debossed side. Um, I don't really think there's any right or wrong way. So, so like I said, this card's like a one minute card. Okay. So that's card number three. And just trying to make sure my glue gets a good adhere with the embossing. And then we're to card number four. Break out your sunglasses because this one is bright. I don't use Mango Melody that much. But this card, well, this paper, it's got the Mango Melody and the little suns at the bottom. And then in the suns at the top. So this one just screamed to use Mango Melody. But that color is like super bright so I used the Misty Moonlight and the white to try to tone it down a little bit and I used my little cloud punch that I have in my starter kit sample I was talking about earlier so let's do the stamping I'm just gonna stamp a little hello sunshine and on my little cloud so I punched the cloud out for you and let's see, this one is going to be Misty Moonlight and the cute little Hello Sunshine. So I just stamped right in the middle. And then what I did is while I have the ink here, I'm going to get this out of the way so I don't screw up. Um... I am just going to add a little bit of ink to a sponge dauber and give this a little bit of an edging. So, I mean, there's so many different ways you could do this. I just like the sponge dauber. It's nice. You have the control because you have it right on your finger. And you just do a little bit of ink right around the edges on a on a something like this where it's got all these little kind of areas this is I think the best thing to do some edging with so there you see it against the white which is really nice okay sorry about my arm so all my stamping is done so this one actually goes together pretty quick too um I'm gonna do the middle panel first and I love this sketch, and I haven't done it in a while, but this card just screamed to do this sketch and then add some embossing and ribbon. So this is the same piece of designer series paper, um, the front and the back. So let's just adhere these down. But I want to get my placement again. So I kind of just, I want to make sure my sons are growing the right way. So they're going to kind of like go right up to each other and get my liquid glue and I just moved it of course so okay so once I have this one made I would love to know which one is your favorite I'll show them all again to See if you have a favorite and I am going to put the ribbon on with some glue dots 
These ones are finally somehow right. They're on the right side of the roll. A lot of our glue dots were, the glue dots were coming over here. So I finally got a roll where they're where I want them. Or where I'm used to having them, I should say. They worked having them over here. It was just, it was weird and not what I was used to. Okay, so I hope I got those on the right side. So this is just the Whisper White Crinkled Ribbon, Seam Binding Ribbon. So I'm just gonna put that over the, whoops. See, I only have it to the back, so I fixed that right away. Okay, let's get my other pieces so you can see. I was going to just do this right to the mango melody and whoa that is like super bright so i decided to add another white embossed layer with the gang um with the gingham embossing folder so let's just do that and again this folder i'm staring at it i think it's very hard to figure out but again it doesn't really matter if you use the embossed or the debossed side And then I'm just gonna stick this up and then we'll add the cloud punch. You could add the cloud punch with um, seal or dimensionals, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna put it on with seal since I have it right here and I was using it earlier. Okay. And then you can kind of decide which side you want it on. I'm just gonna put it right over here and super cute. So that was card number four. I'm actually surprised. I went through those pretty, pretty quick. So let's just recap and go through all four cards and then I'll recap and so here's card four. Here is card three. Here is card two and here is card one. So I would love to know if you have a favorite. And just to recap, um, let me see if I can get my stuff back in my basket and I can get my, or my bag, I should say, so I can show you this bag of stuff when I bring it back up to my, the camera back up to my face. And so I talked about all about celebration today. And I am going to feature products over the next couple weeks. So don't think that this is going to be the only celebration um, that I feature through February 28th. It definitely won't be. But this one, I am specially offering this card kit for these four projects free. If you spend $35, you get the free card kit in the mail. And if you spend $50, you get the free card kit plus the new iridescent rhinestones. So, um, oh, plus if you spend 50, you'll get to pick out a free $50 celebration item. You got to place your orders by this Thursday, January 13th, 2022, and kits will be mailed Tuesday, January 18th, 2022. So I'm going to bring the camera back up at my face here. So here we go. Here we are. You like two and four, but they're all nice. Thank you, Kathy. I like them all, but you like number four for the colors. Ooh, so you're like a bright, like bring out the, the bright, um, I need sunglasses. Um, that's awesome. Okay, so this was the bag I was trying to show you loaded up with the starter kit stuff earlier. So uh -huh. I'm trying to like see if you could see inside of it, but it's really difficult to hold the camera at the same time. So you don't get the bag, but you get the $125 of stuff plus the paper pumpkin plus the two free stamp sets. So the value of that starter kit right now through February 28th is probably well over 200, depending on those two free stamp sets that you choose of your, cho of your choice. So let me make sure I covered everything. Um, obviously you'll need stamps and ink to finish. You're gonna get the card kit and all the pieces from me. So you'll have to add your own stamps and your own ink. I think I covered everything that I wanted to cover. The other thing I did want to mention is um, if you're not on my mailing list, I'm going to put that link below too so you can find out all about my specials and my events. 
um, my mailing list will get the replay of this video so they can watch it back and get the special offer as well. And let me see, I, I think that's pretty much everything. So have a wonderful week. Um, please keep your fingers crossed that there's a negative uh, test in our house tomorrow so we can kind of return to normal a little bit. And uh, I'll be back next week, Sunday, same time, 10 a.m. And I'm going to feature uh, the Friendly Hello bundle next week. So tune in for that and have a great week, everybody. Thanks so much.